Hi guys, Dave the Humble Trekker here today. Two things on the agenda. Number one, stalk bought moonshine, 100 proof, 50% alcohol. Is this any good in your transient stove? Number two, the Mora Precision Rope Knife. You've all heard the tale. Serrations are great for cutting cordage, rope. Let's explore that, see if it's really true, comparing it to a plain edged blade. Let's do it guys. So close up of the observations on the mower and the TPE handle. Observations from the Amazon. Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about two subjects. First of all, the use of moonshine in an alcove stove. And secondly, the use of a serrated knife for cutting cordage. Common knowledge is that it's much better than a plain edge knife. Let's explore that. Okay, first of all, I've already filled this stove up with moonshine, old smoky. Let's give it a little top up just to make sure we're not cheating it. This is the old smoky store bought moonshine, 50%, 100 proof, and yes, this is a complete waste of it. Okay, let's light this baby up. First of all, it definitely doesn't light as easily as denatured fuel or something stronger. But we've got a flame there, it's burning, I can feel the heat. It smells like burning booze. Put it in there, ow. I wouldn't recommend doing that at home, guys. burning you can't see it burning but it's burning okay 12 ounces of water which is 355 milliliters let's see how long that takes to boil I just watch my clock 12 minutes past okay the next topic was this is the Mora precision rope knife especially designed for cutting ropes this is a regular stainless steel more, I forget the actual name of the model. Both exactly the same size. I see a lot of guys on YouTube cutting cordage, which is just like thin cordage. So I've gone out and got some 15mm three ton boat rope. Let's have a cut through this with these two knives and see if there's a difference. Let's see if the, the so-called rope knife advertised by more as a rope knife is better than a regular knife. We'll give the rope knife first cut of the rope. No problem. On one strand, oh, actually, slight, slight problem. Didn't get all the way through. So there's it there. Okay, the moment of truth. These knives cost exactly the same. If there's a difference, it's just a few pennies. straight through, like butter. Let's give, how can I do this? Two strands, two yeah. coils. Just line this up nicely and get all my, all, everything I got. <coughs> no, I call that user error. I don't think I gave a pull on both pieces of rope. There we go. That bit's all even slightly cut, so we won't do that. Okay, so I've got to be a bit more careful when I'll do it now. Yeah, went for it as you expect. It's just because of the length of the knife, it's difficult to get through two pieces. Okay, the plain edge one. This one actually goes for it easier because you can just do a straight push cut. With a razor sharp mower, you just do a push cut, it just goes straight through it. Maybe it's my technique. Let me try that with a. I'm running out of rope. Let me try a push cut with a. Just a 
push cut with a remote knife, this weighted knife. No, you can't do it. You cannot do a push cut with a so-called freaking rope knife. Let me do it with a plain edge, straight through. Okay, let me cut in some more tests I've done where I've strung a rope up between two trees. Catch you later, guys. I'll see how my water's boiling. Uh, I'm gonna make the first cut with the more serrated blade in stainless steel. I'm gonna grasp it firmly and give it one pull to start with, see how it goes and then see what happens after that. It's the first attempt. Pretty damn good. So now for comparison against the serrated rope knife, plain edged more uh, stainless steel. Same process, grab it firmly, give it one smart drag. Well, what do you make of that? I actually went for it better. The jury's back. You've seen it with your own eyes. The so-called rope knife, in my test, very scientific, did not cut any better than a regular plain edge, plain edge knife. You can make your own mind up if you think a serrated knife is really better for cutting cordage and do your own tests. For me, a sharp plain edge knife was better than this serrated so-called precision rope knife. Second part the jewelry had to decide upon was the is the old smoky moonshine any good as a fuel in your transier? It's been going 19 minutes now. And we still don't have a rolling boil. It started to simmer steam after 12 minutes, small bubbles were forming, but now after 20 minutes it's still not come to a rolling boil. And to be honest, I don't think it ever will. Uh, just not enough BTUs in that moonshine to make it worthwhile. So, if you're ever in a survival situation, there's only one thing to do, you old twinkie. Tastes a lot better than it works as fuel. Give me a thumbs up, a comment, your experience with serrated knives and your experience with a, a moonshine and uh, subscribe if you want to see more from the Humble Trekker. Take care out there.